Uh, maybe. I'm, I'm considering it. I'm considering it. Yeah, dude. And the fox? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, they're both SoCal ranked. Yeah. That Not covers everything. And PM. Tristan's real and neighbor are both SoCal here. Mm -hmm. I saw uh, a video. It was last year, though. And I, this year they weren't ranked, so I wonder if they're just inactive. <sighs> Alright, well. Tope's a legend. And, uh. You know, he's uh, one of the only active players in San Diego to have beaten a god. One thing I did he almost find beat interesting Leffen. on the uh, SoCal PR last year is that a Falco was ranked above Lucky. And as I've never heard of him before. So I wonder if, he, if, he's, if he'd be good at melee. Maybe. Okay, going back to the match. Kapaka has but a Kapaka has a lot of... I don't know if he plays much with Okami anymore, but he definitely played a lot with Okami in the past. So he de he's definitely... From Coffee? Wait, what did you say? Oh, shit. Why? Mm. Like he's called it... Like recently he's called it? Oh, damn. Alright, well... <laughs> Even if he wins, he loses. <laughs> but uh, no, let's see. Um, Kawaka, Kawaka's doing pretty well. Has a single Smash 4 player started playing Melee in San Diego? I think Mojo, he plays Smash 4. What's that? Mojo plays Smash 4. Mojo used to be the crazier brawl, I heard. So there's one. Yeah. A Smash 4 player. But I think he played uh, Melee first, though. And then he maybe. dabbled in Smash 4 a little bit. Because I saw him on the... Uh, Mojo? Yeah, Mojo. Oh, he was a Brawl player first. Yeah, but now he plays Smash 4. Alright. Well, I, I don't know if he still does. I remember seeing him on the, uh, the... He was ranked in both Melee and Smash 4 on the high school Smash. Oh, uh, nice. Uh, this, this is actually a pretty good match. These guys are doing, going fairly even. Oh, oh, that. If Kapaka would have just refreshed invincibility on ledge, that could have been a lot. Maybe we would have just regrabbed it. Yeah. Or even uh, done the little Marth side B refresh. It's pretty technical, but it's. Marth side B refresh? Yeah, it's like you just. You, you, you press back and then side B, like instantly, hmm. and you just like quick, quickly re grab ledge. Oh. It's starting to be used to refresh invincibility at high level. Oh. Alright, but it evens it up quickly. Wait, what happened? Tristan beat Zephyr? Foxidos? Dang. Okay. I play Tristan's role. This should be game, yeah. Did you say off stream? Yeah. So Assuming he doesn't drop this. Jake, can I play Tristan's role? Alright, yeah. Now? This is probably it. Okay, oh, I'm gonna go play. Oh, a bit early. We got Tristan's role. Good luck, Tina. Oh, downer? Yeah. Oh, wait. Respect the attempt. <gasps> Come back? It's gonna be really hard. Mars is really disadvantaged in this situation. But we'll see. So he gets weak back here. Yeah, Kapaka's getting all the chances that he needs. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. All right. Nice shot. Yeah. <sighs> he had some chances. He just didn't convert hard enough off them. But this is a hard matchup. From Mars' side. Alright, let's see. Ooh, gets tipper up smash. Okay. Does an early aerial on his shield on platform, so it's gonna be a grab. Well, so sorry if my commentary is like absolutely horrible, guys. If you can't tell, I'm dead exhausted today. Ooh, that was a nice. Yeah, Kabaka keeps doing early down airs off ledge, which is like, not the worst, but, like, Tope clearly hasn't been, like, taking the bait, so he should just hold on to ledge and fork Sheik to up B. That, that's where he's gonna get, like, a lot of juicy percent, instead of just going for the early down air. So yeah, now, now he's, he's dead. This game could have been totally different if he didn't do that down air. Granted, I missed how all that happened, but <laughs> it started with him doing that down air. 
Oh, Phantom. Alright, nest. I agree with that forward air. Okay. Yeah. I kind of knew Sheik was going to do the little lip recovery. That's just because I play Sheik. I can, I can tell it's going to happen. Ooh, nice. Recognize that Sheik was vulnerable. I'm getting in the upbeat and just down airs him. That one I agree with. Alright. Should, that should have been a forward air, but he reads the jump. That was really nice. Okay. He maybe could have side smashed him when he was coming down. But he goes for the forward air. Uh, not the worst, I guess, but he did miss it. Okay. Ooh. He didn't think he was going to hit that forward air. Otherwise, he would have been able to follow up. Okay. There should be a free ledge for Tope. Oh, we. I like that with on actually. That's tricky. Uh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, another, another down air. He should really just refresh invincibility. Okay. To go to Miguel. And so, I, uh, last talk's rough, dude. Don't don't worry too much about it. Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah, it happens. All right, this is looking a. Uh, thing about this matchup, I think, is that uh, Marth can punish Sheik just as hard as she can punish Marth, but I feel like Sheik sets up her punishes. Easier than Marth. So I think Sheik has an advantage. But Marth can 